Now, I want to talk to you for a minute about the painless path. <laughs> you know, getting hurt hurts. But oddly enough, getting well hurts too. You come to a point where it doesn't hurt anymore, but part of the reason why so many people stay broken is because there's also pain in the healing process. You know, you can injure yourself and the injury hurts, but while you're in the healing process, it still hurts, doesn't it? So I want you to understand if you're one of these people that decided with me this morning that you're gonna, you're ready for a life upgrade. Yeah. You wanna not just be here and breathe, but you want to have the life, Amen. the best upgraded life that Jesus died to give you. I'm just gonna be honest with you and tell you that it's not just going to all be easy. For one thing, to get well, you have to face a lot of things about where you're at. Jesus said, if you continue in my word, you'll know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Well, it's not the truth about somebody else that's going to make you free. <laughs> it's the truth about me facing the truth about me, that I had problems, that I was manipulative and controlling, that I was insecure no matter the fact that I acted bold really way down deep inside I was insecure being honest with yourself about yourself is the bravest thing that you can ever do in your life you see God knows you and he loves you anyway and you need to learn how to know you and love you anyway I don't like everything I do, but I do like myself. I actually think that we are insulting God if we hate ourselves and refuse to have a good relationship with ourselves because we're not the epitome of the perfection that we think that we should be. Jesus didn't die for perfect people. He died for people that are imperfect and will continue to have some imperfections until he comes back to get us. The Bible says he didn't come for those that were well, but he came for those that were sick. Amen? And so, I qualify for help from God. And you do too. But in the natural, it's just the way we are, our flesh is always going to look for a painless path. And so that's why I want to just be clear with you that if you really want to get well, it, there's going to be some challenges to it. And it's not going to happen super quick. It happens little by little. God changes you from glory to glory. But the good news is, is if you're on your way to full recovery, at least you're on your way somewhere. Did you hear me? And that's better than just being stuck nowhere. There's two kinds of pain we can talk about today. The pain of change or the pain of never changing. And you know what? The thought of staying the same is really scary to me. I mean, it just makes me shiver to think that I could still be the way that I used to be 42 years ago. Now, there's been a lot of pain getting from there to here. Oh, but there's been more joy than pain. And I certainly am glad that God gave me the grace to not give up. And you have to keep in mind that every little bit of progress you get, you can then share that progress with somebody else. People need to see people overcome. They need the courage to realize, well, if you can do it, then maybe I can do it. And so... Here's a quote by an unknown author that I think is good. What comes easy won't last, and what lasts won't come easy. <laughs> Amen? There's a saying my husband's always had, fast and fragile, slow and solid. What comes together fast can also come apart fast, but what is built 
slowly can become solid. I don't know if you've noticed it or not, but God's not in a hurry. Has anybody realized that God's not in a hurry? You know why? Because he's more interested in quality than quantity. Amen. Don't get stuck in the trap of just trying to see how much of your Bible you can read every day so you can feel proud of yourself. God would rather that you stare at two verses for an hour and get something out of it than to read seven chapters and not know what you read when you got done. <laughs> of all the people we need to stop trying to impress, it's God. <laughs> Did you hear me? Yes. Because he knows us. So quality over quantity. Don't be in such a hurry. We hope you enjoyed this teaching. To get more from Joyce, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.